Welcome back everyone and thanks for joining me for another episode of my Shrewsby Town career on FM16 and oh man we've got some difficult games coming up. We've got Man City next at the Etihad. In our last episode we beat Preston away from home in the Capital One Cup second round. It's 3-1 win there but we've taken it all the way to extra time. But our league form... It's been disastrous. It's not the start that I'd hoped for coming up into the Premier League from the Championship. We're in the relegation zone. We're in 18th. Three games gone. Just a point picked up after that draw against Swansea. And up next, we've got City. I'm kind of feeling a bit optimistic because we put in a good performance against them in pre-season. But that was just a pre-season friendly. And teams tend to take the foot off the gas, don't they, in the those friendly games but I mean you look at their team Harry Kane Aguero what a strike force they've got there thankfully Yaya Torre is out suspended but do, do they need him I mean they've got and that's interesting Fernando hasn't even been registered for the season so he's ineligible but look at that midfield it has to be one of the most complete midfields I've ever seen Axel Witzel Carvalho Kevin De Bruyne Raheem Stern look at their defense as well Jose Gaia Company, Zabaleta, Otamendi. I know it's uh, an aging defence they've got there, but still. Chelsea, they've uh, won the first game of the day. 3-1 win there against Everton. And here we go. Let, let's just get into this against City. They've been in fantastic form lately. They've just recently beaten Villa 3-0. We've just got we, we to make sure that we go out there and give a good account of ourselves and really take what's coming to us. I, I don't really want to think about losing to sit I don't oh it's so difficult because I want to go out there I want to get our three first three points of the season but it's going to be so so difficult I suppose we're going to uh, we're going to see what we come up against I'm going to tell the team to be more disciplined okay let's see what we can do Clinton the G having to come in and start front Luke Williams can sit in just behind because as you know from the previous episodes Bakuna I suppose I could start Bakuna I was going to say um, James Collins is out, our number one striker, so... Shall I start Bakuna over Lewis Reed? Is that wide? I mean, Lewis Reed doesn't have as much experience as Bakuna does, but you got to look at his mental attributes. I think Lewis Reed just beats Bakuna to the punch there. With his concentration and his composure, that's what we're going to be needing in a game like this against City. Okay, I think I'll probably stick with... Um, Reed and maybe we can use Bakuna as a super sub. I think that's probably too far fetched. But you can see James Collins is out injured. He's going to be gone for many weeks. I think it's like three, four weeks. We're going to have to struggle, get by. And you know, with just three games, got the struggle. The struggle is real. It really is. It's amazing. The League One and the Championship, they felt like being in an amateuristic league compared to coming up into the Premier League. Unbelievable. Of course, City consider favourites. Lionel Cole. And I don't want to be putting too much pressure on Lionel Cole, but the thing is, he seems to be our only standout player at the moment. Scored uh, in that previous game against Preston in the Capital One Cup. We have since been drawn against West Ham for the third round. Can we get a result there? I mean, it's at home. Can we get through to the fourth round? Can we win any silverware this season? Going to try our best, but City going for a 4 4 2 then. As predicted, Aguero, Hurricane up front, Sterling, Witzel, Carvalho, and Kevin De Bruyne. And my God, look at that midfield. Gaia, Artemeni, Company, and Zabaleta, and Joe Hart, former Shrewsbury man, starts in goal. Look at their bench Mario G Gomez, Mangala, Sanya, Robin starts on the bench as well. They signed Robin. Don't remember reading that. Come on, let's just get into this game. Let's. um. Do we need to. Maybe worry about some of the... We'll go always on Aguero. I'm not sure how wise that is. We want to be keeping him quiet in this game. It's going to be difficult anyway. Not just for Shrewsbury. But for any team that comes up against this city side. Good luck lads. Um, we're huge underdogs. So there's no pressure on you to succeed. Put the pressure on City. And then again I don't think they'll worry about that too much. Because they're at home. Let's just do this. Screw it. Let's just go in head first and hope for the best. Fingers crossed. I know we're going to have our backs to the wall for the majority of the game, but hopefully we can make a real good account of ourselves. Just try and encourage the players. Be calm. Don't need to be all assertive or aggressive on the touchline. 
With just 10 minutes gone, there's no need for it because then you get the players thinking they could become distracted and could cause us some trouble. Cause our own problems, if anything. Okay, coming up to the 20th minute. We've moved up to 17th. We're out of the relegation zone at the moment if it stays this way. But what are the chances of that happening? And it's 1-0 to City. It's Sergio Aguero with the goal. Sixth goal of the season. We're only three, four games into it now. Jeez. He needs to take a break. 20 minutes gone. And it's City in the lead. Oh dear. Well, that drops us back down into the relegation zone. Sterling whipping the ball back into the box from that cross from Kevin De Bruyne. Oh, so unfortunate, man. So unfortunate. We're doing well in possession, though. But look at the shots that you're getting. Five, seven now. Three on target. And here they come again. Harry Kane makes it two. Boom, game over. That's it. I don't see us getting into this one now. Shit, we'll just go... Uh, we'll go contain. Skip that. Don't need to see the replay. Let's be calm again. Concentrate, lads. Lewis Reed, come on. You need to be intercepting that or at least chasing the ball down. Harry Kane to make it three. No, he doesn't. Whew. It's still 2 0. Getting off lightly here. We're still in 18th as it stands. League position doesn't really matter at this stage of the season, but. Oh, just look at that. 11 shots, 5 on target, and that's half time. City in pole position. They're in a great position. Not happy with your performance. Ooh, players looking fired up. That's a good sign. Let's drop Sermon back there and Lewis Reed. Let's try not to let any more goals in in this second half. Let's see if we can improve our performance. Maybe get a goal, snatch one back. That'd be very nice. It's going to be very difficult, though. If I got as options a go go, I could probably bring on for Lewis Reed or Sermon. I'll just leave it as it is for now for the, uh, the second half. We get kickoff. Good pass in here. Nice and fluid. One touch passing as well. I like that. Zabaleta with the foul. And again, we're controlling possession. But we're not doing anything with it. And Naji with a bruised shin. This is not good because we've got James Collins, our number one striker, out of action for a couple of weeks. And that is a good chance there for uh, City to make it three. De Bruyne with the corner. Oh dear. It's another corner. Another corner for City. Come on, lads. Good cl clearance by Granderson. Close him down. Right, sweet stuff. Luke Weiler with the good save. Have to keep an eye on Naji. Didn't really want to take him off. Him and Lionel Cole are the only two players in this side that possess any kind of pace. Any real pace. And Aguero finds Sterling. It's all City at the moment. It's one way traffic. Harry Kane to Zabaleta. Sterling. Oh, well done, Williams. He just gets rid of it. No chance of an attack coming from town. De Bruyne back in for Harry Kane off the crossbar. Clear it. Oh. Oh, my God. It's an absolute scramble. There is the hour mark. Right, let's make a sub. Shall I bring on Sully Kai Kai? Let's see if he can bring us some magic. Push Williams up front. Let's have some magic from Sully Kai Kai. That'd be fantastic. Maybe uh, Bakuna for his Premier League experience. Can only Saini can only come on to replace either Lana Cole or Todd Kane. I know he could probably play where Kai Kai is in that number ten role. And we'll leave it as it is for now. Oof. Another another chance goes begging for City. Carvalho with the header over the crossbar. They're knocking on the door. 15 shots, 6 on target. We've kind of um, stopped them from getting their shots away as much as they were in the, uh, the, sec the, in the first half. As I say that, it goes up to 18 shots now. Come on, lads. Aguero. Ah, oh, it's 3. It's simple. For Mario Gomez 
That's his fourth goal of the season. And that is certainly the game well and truly put to bed. Don't see us getting anything from it now. Unless we used to absolutely blitz City. Chances of that happening though. Aguero. Being their standout player. Aguero and Kevin De Bruyne. Good, good play there, Lewis Reed. Actually seeing a bit of uh, a bit of passion, a bit of desire to get something from this. Goes in with the challenge. Look at this passing now, Kai Kai. That's it, warding off the challenge of Witzelen. Carvalho. Granderson taking too long, son. Sermon. Oh, look at this for passing. Stringing our passes together nicely. Oh, Williams goes for goal. Well on target. Hart forced to make the save. And that is a corner. Come on. Can we get a goal at the Etihad? Cole. Oh, just couldn't find. Grando. In that six-yard area. Let's see. We're putting them under some pressure here, City. Well done, Lewis Reed. Picks up the loose ball. Finds Lano Cole. Lionel Cole, what are you going to do? Finds Reed again. What a spell of dominance here from Shrewsbury Town. Sermon to Reed. Kai Kai through to Williams. Yes! <laughs> We've clawed a goal back. Luke Williams with his first goal of the season. Get in. Even though we are losing 3-1. But at least we can say we've scored at the Etihad this season. Williams, what a goal. What a setup as well. I'm liking the passing. Certainly loads of signs there. Promising signs for the season. Well, for the rest of the season. And that is going to be full time. Unless we can get one more goal. Can we? Sermon. Finds reach. Oh, he's offside. I think if that wasn't offside, he would have been through. And that is full time. At the Etihad. Manchester City 3. Shrewsbury Town 1. Can't fault the boys after that. They gave it everything they had. I'm going to be calm. No need to upset them and uh, cause morale to go down to rock bottom. Can make do without that. So we did win one thing in this game and that was possession. We saw 52% of it whereas City had 25 shots, 11 on target and we are out of the relegation zone simply because we drawed that goal back and obviously because West Brom lost their game. But Man City coast past Salop. Yeah, what's the damage done with Clinton the G as well, with his bruised shin? Seven to ten days, that's not too bad. He might be back in time for our next game in the Premier League, which is uh, against Stoke. And that's the start of a run where we're, we're constantly playing at home because we've got Stoke at home, we've got Liverpool and West Ham. Oh, look at this, Andrew Sermon. Oh, what an absolute killer. He's out for the season. He's out for nine to ten months. Oh my god. It would have to happen to me, wouldn't it? 31 year old experienced midfielder out for a te 9 to 10 months with a damaged cruciate ligament. Let's go and speak to him. He's got to be feeling, yeah. He's got to be feeling in the gutter. What's on your mind then, boss? What do you think's on my mind? Don't worry about your injury. I know these things can be frustrating, but try to focus on recovery. This injury won't get the better of me. I'll make sure of it. What a blow. What a blow to our chances of avoiding relegation this season. Having Andrew Sermon. Oh, I mean, look at his attributes as well. What a signing he was in the summer. It was so promising. He was excited to play for us. He did. He got four games, but it could have been a lot more. Okay, so I've gone ahead and signed our last player of the transfer window. It is Robert Brady from Norwich. I was quite surprised to see that they put him on the uh, the transfer list. But as you can see, he's a pretty um, versatile player. He can mainly play down the left side. And my thinking behind Robbie Brady was the fact that Adam Reach is also susceptible to injury. And I thought, well, if he goes out, then Robbie Brady can come in. If Dimitreo isn't performing at left back, then Robbie Brady can step back into that position and so on. Okay, we're here. Back at home at the greenhouse to play Stoke. Look at their team, Palacios. This is probably one of those games that we could potentially pick up our first three points. But they have got Shakiri, Wilshire, Shakiri, and that dude. I'm not even going to try pronouncing his name out on the flanks. They could cause us some trouble. But it's going to be difficult putting anything past Jack Butland today. Look at their bench. They've got Mares as well, Moya. 
Come on, lads. Let's do this. Come on. Yes, we can do this. We can get those three points today. Do it for the fans. We need to be trying to get the ball over into that final third. If we can do that, their, their defence doesn't look so strong. As I, I mean, compared to ours, I think ours would slightly edge their defence. It's, um, it's an ageing defence. Uh, I, I wouldn't say that they've got the quality like City did in our previous game for their defence. I mean, they've only got Johnny Evans, who's experienced in winning anything worthwhile. And I suppose Ryan Shawcross as well, former United player. Wilshire, Fortunas. Palacios through to Fortunas, and it's a penalty. Well done, Akadi. Well done. Jeez, 21 minutes gone, and we're going to concede. Oh, Luke Wyler went the right way as well. It's 1 0 to Stoke. God's sake, man. Just goes from bad to worse for town at the moment. It's our fifth game in the season, and we're trailing already. And it looks like Stoke could be on for a second here. Jack Wilshire, we close him down nicely. We've won the bat ball back perfectly. On to Naji, who's back from. That slight bruised shin that he picked up in that game against City. On to Naji again. It's Cole. Look at Kane in space. Back to Kane. He's got acres. There we go. Yes! Yes! Right back in it with Naji's second goal of the season. That's his first in the Premier League for town. As he scored in the Capital One Cup second round against Preston. What a cross from Todd Kane, though. Look at that. Hit first time. Nice bit of swivel. Oh my god, it was an overhead kick as well. Absolutely exquisite. Sensational stuff from Clinton the G. Got such a bright future here for Shrewsbury Town. Now we're right back in it. Can we go and get our nose in front now and turn this game around? Bakuna on a yellow card. He's going to have to be careful. Let's tell the players to concentrate. Shakiri offside. That's kind of worrying. He's cutting inside there. Akadi, oh, he's messing up. He's messing up massively. Oh, what a save from Luke Wyler. I think he probably could have left that. It looked like he was going out for a goal kick. 1-1 one, one then as we approach the break. Starting to take control now. We're getting our shots in as well. Two, two shots, two on target. Oh, no, Adam Reach has got a pulled hamstring. That's probably him done for a month or two. Might make the change at half time. He's only got a couple of minutes. Probably sit out on the touchline. Alright, there we go. That's half time. Let's do the team talk first then. We go in at the break all level. And that's promising, right? It's only Kevin Long that seemed to lose focus. Right, let's take Reach off. I could bring Brady on for his debut. Or I could bring on Luke Williams. They've got some good options here. Sully Kai Kai. Shall I bring on Kai Kai? I'll bring on Brady. Might as well. It's his first game for town. See what he can produce. Maybe a bit of magic. Here he is now. Finds Bakuna. Through to Clark. Come on. Had loads of space but was closed down so quickly. They recognise that he can cause some trouble and Bakuna's picked up the ball again. Oh, for Tunis with a challenge on Bakuna. And gets away with a warning. That looked really good then. Our movement going forwards. Let's be calm and encourage the players this time. Come on, town. What can we do here against Stoke? Mares has just come on. It's a tactical switch there. He's got the potential to cause us some damage. We've got a corner here. Cole takes. Finds Long. Come on, Clark. Chase that down. Has he won it back? No, he hasn't. Palacios. Got bags of pace. Finds Shakiri who switched to the right. Shakiri finds Wilshire, And it's 2-1. Was that not offside? That looked slightly offside then. Let's see that again. Was that offside? There's Wilshire. No, it wasn't. He's on. Oh, what a finish as well from Wilshire. On the volley. So 2-1 then as we pass the hour mark. And they've got a free kick here. Shakiri takes... Oh, what a save by Luke Wyler. And that's offside for Mares. Thank you, linesman. Could have been 3-1. If that 
that was onside. I'm not liking the fact, and Zonzi's just come on, I'm not liking the fact that the the amount of shots that teams are, are, are managing to get away against us, home or away, you can see that Stoke are up to 19 now, so I think something's going to have to be done about our defence. Going to have to clamp down on that because it's putting so much pressure on Luke Weiler. Now, I think what I'll do is bring on a go-go for Bakun. I don't want to risk him getting a second yellow, getting sent off and getting banned for a game or two. Especially with uh, Sermon getting that long-term injury. Out for nine to ten months. Absolutely soul-shattering, really. See what a go-go can do. Can a go-go step up to the plate? He's been one of our standout players over previous seasons in League One and the Championship. Can he do it this season? in the Premier League. Can we hit Stoke on the counter here and get an equaliser? Can we get another point? Oh my words. Oh! How is Shakiri not put that into the back of the net? Luke Wyler doing fantastic there. Please don't concede another goal. It's a corner for Stoke and that is full time. We've dropped three points again. Oh dear, oh dear. We really need to uh, go away. Do some soul searching because up next we've got Liverpool at home and I think it, it could get worse. Stoke dominate game. What I, what I need to do is go away and try and rethink. Oh, for God's sake. Adam reaches out for four weeks now as well. How many more injuries am I going to get? Might have to call on the youngsters at this point. Jeez, Brady makes town debut. It's good to see. Hopefully he can keep himself fit. And of course, Mark Hughes taking the opportunity to rub it in. My boys show just how good they are. Screw you. Screw you, Mark Hughes. Alright, so up next, we've got Liverpool at home. Then we've got West Ham in the third round of the Capital One Cup. As I say, we've got, we've got to do some soul searching. Got to go away now, I think, and try and come up with a plan for this next game against Liverpool to try and get our first three points of the season. Can you believe we're almost six games into the season now and we're yet to win a game. We've drawn one and lost the others. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. Join me for the next one. I'm sorry we couldn't get a win in this one against City and uh, Stoke, but I think there's little improvements all over the pitch and, and the team getting used to life in the Premier League. We'll get there eventually. I mean, we've got Aston Villa coming up soon. Maybe we can secure three points there. Who knows? Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.